do you set up a Google Hangout and schedule it? So uh, this is the page here for Google Hangout. So this is what we're going to be setting up. So first step is you need to have a Google account. If you don't already have one, this is where you do. Just go into Google and search um, create Google account or set up Gmail or put G+, whatever. You'll end up getting to a page like this. And you need to create your Google account. Now, when you do this, it's going to give you Gmail, YouTube, um, creating Hangouts, Google Calendars, access to all of those different things. So it all is around this one account that you set up. So when you do this, um, put your put your name so that you know it makes sense. <laughs> so it's going to be something that will be shown publicly. So you want it to make sense uh, with there. So it can either be your first name and last name, or it might be to do with your business. Uh, so choosing your username here, try to choose something that is as close to your name or your business as possible, and then the rest there is pretty well um, self-explanatory. So. Once you've set that up, you'll have something looking like this. Here's one that I prepared earlier. So here is inside one of my Gmail accounts. This is the one that we use for our help desk support. I've just got it, you know, you've got these three areas. I've just put it on social because there's nothing going through there, just so we don't invade anybody's privacy. Looking at the emails now. So this is our Gmail account. Now to find Google+, Plus. I would go over to here. So it's got the plus and it's got my name over here. So when you, we've already set up our Google, Google Plus account, but if you haven't done that before, uh, it will just prompt you to, you know, just do a few things, you know, to set up your profile, those sorts of things. So it's pretty self explanatory. Just follow that. Now, there's lots of things that you can be doing with your Google Plus account. We won't go into that here. Um, so even if you haven't got everything set up perfectly, that is cool because what we, you can still be running a Hangout. So this is um, just my home account. You know, this would be my profile. This is what my Google G Plus account looks like. When people come to visit me, this is what they would see. Now what we want to do is coming over here on the left, is we want to go down here to Hangouts. So click on Home, go down here, click on Hangouts. That's going to get this to that page that I showed you before. Now, um, so what we want to do is go to Hangouts on Air. There's a few different ways that you can set up a new one. Well, just this is just one way to get to the same spot, to navigate to the same spot. This is showing other Hangouts that are on at the moment that you know, I might be interested in going to. This one here is the one you want. Start a Hangout on Air. Click on there. Now, give it a name. So I'm actually setting, setting one up here that I'm doing for my Inner Circle members. And I'm actually setting this up so that my Inner Circle members uh, can join me and I can actually take them behind the scenes and show them how to use a Google Hangout just so that it'll help take away you know any fear on doing it and just make it so they can see how easy it is so I'm going to show you how I set that one up so this is an actual one that I'm doing so inner circle members call um, I can say about um, what it's going to be about so let me put something here Okay, so what I just did then was um, I just paused it while I wrote that. So it looks as if I'm a really, really fast typer. Um, so now um, I could run it right now if I want to. Just say I wanted to be running something um, as a meeting. I could just say, yep, let's just get it started now. What I'm going to do here, though, is I want it to go later. So I'm going to set the times here. Now what you can see is it's already doing it in my time zone because I've when I set up my Gmail account, I told them what my time zone was. And they're so clever, they probably know where I am anyway. They probably know what I had for breakfast, actually. Google. Um, I always set this for longer than I'm going to, going to need it for. So this call is going to be going for an hour. So I've set it for an hour and a half because I don't want to get cut off if I'm mid-sentence and want to go a little bit over. Now, with these ones, if I leave this as it is, it's going to make it so that absolutely anybody can come along. Now, I don't want that. I want to make it so that it's only going to be people who I invite. So I'm going to get rid of extended circles and I'm going to get rid of public. So if somebody has the link, they can actually come and see. 
um, but it's not going to be advertised on YouTube and in my um, you know out to my people who are following me on Google Plus so um, I can invite some people so I'm just going to invite my assistant um, web VA Okay, so there's Fraser. So I'm just going to invite her. And what I can do is, um, as you know, if you're going to be having it as a meeting, you can be inviting other people there. You can only have another nine people that can join you at one time, just so just so that you know that. So if you're having more people, you can invite more people, of course. But if you want them to actually join you on the call as somebody who you're interviewing or somebody that's in a meeting, you can only have 10 of you in total all at one time. So you can put some people on and then leave some, let some people go. So, um, But anybody who you invite here will get an email saying, hey, Janet's having a hangout. So, um, And you can add people in here after you've set it up as well. Okay, so that's pretty well it. So I'm going to go share. There we go. That's it. It's all set up, ready to go. And um, see this one over here on the right hand side? So it's saying that this was created by me and it's a private event, which is great. So this is not going out to everybody. Now this links is important. So this is the event page. So I can send people on my mailing list that link and say if you come here, if you sign into your Google Plus account, come here, when I've got this started you'll be able to type in your chat that's over here and you can communicate with me and you'll be able to watch the, um, the Hangout as it's going. The nice part about this is it will automatically be over on my YouTube page so that I, if people prefer to, they can go and watch it over on YouTube and leave comments there. How cool is that? The nice part with this is that means that it will automatically be recording uh, my Hangout for me and it will be available for replay immediately afterwards. That's really, really powerful. Um, I don't even have to hit record, so I don't have anything to forget. And if I want to, I can actually do this video embed so I can copy this code. I can go to my blog and I can actually put just the same as if I was going to be putting any YouTube video into a post on my blog I can do exactly the same thing I can put this on my blog and people can come there and watch it live now that's a really useful thing to do if you don't want people to have to worry about coming over to Google Plus that they can just stay on your website which is also really handy if you're going to be selling something because it will be there with the links to things that you're selling so there's three ways that people can come and join in so um, yeah so that's pretty basically it. that's how you set it up now when it comes to running it and we can actually do a few tweaks um, I'll show you that in another video where I'll be showing you you know it's different things that you can add in to make it so it's um, you know a bit bit more um, customized and some things that you can be doing to be setting it up as it's running. So, but this is basically it. It'll be ready to go. It'll go live. Uh, it'll be ready to, for people to be able to watch it at that time that you've set. And you just then have to click that you're ready and live. And it will start to be able to, you know, you'll be able to share you talking to the people who are watching. Pretty easy, hey? Okay, let me know how you go. And I'd love to see how, if you have a go.